Welcome to the job interview experience. Most people get the tell me about yourself question very, very wrong. I'm going to tell you how to fix it in this episode and give you a breakdown of how to create the perfect response that might be the interview answer that gives you the job. Please make sure to hit subscribe on your podcast player or YouTube this very second. And while you're there, please leave a rating. I'm a former executive recruiter, search firm owner, director of talent acquisition. I held a baby panda once. And today, the founder of Candidate Club Interview Prep and your host of the job interview experience. My goal is to help you get a job that you love as quickly as possible. The strategies I lay out in this episode will help you stand out and put your best foot forward while answering the tell me about yourself questions. A listener wrote in and said, I've always struggled a bit with job interviews and feel it's the first question. Tell me about yourself that's putting me off. I usually begin with where I live, what I study, what I like to do with my spare time. I feel like the recruiter wants to hear something more. Do you have any advice on how to answer that question the best way? I do. It's an important question, and it's an important question to get right. I've interviewed thousands and thousands of people, and I do a lot of interview coaching as well. I'll tell you the mistake that about 85% of people make on this question. It's actually probably 90%. If you feel like I'm directly calling you out on this, because maybe you've done this, don't worry, I'll help you fix it. Here's what most people do when they're asked, tell me about yourself. Well, I started working at XYZ Company in 2021, and before that was the manager of managing at ABC Company, and so on. Most people just start reciting their resume. Why? Because you're nervous, because you want to impress the employers, because you weren't aware that there's a much better answer. The recruiter has your resume in front of them. Most recruiters can actually read it at least a fourth grade level. So during your interview and interviews, you will spend the majority of your time discussing your work history and skills. However, you weren't asked about your work history there. Companies are terrible at humanizing the interview experience from online applicant systems that seem like a unique form of torture to automated responses that seem to rip your soul from your body every time you get that generic message. We were impressed with your unique skills and experience. However, get lost. This question is the opportunity for you to humanize the interview experience and humanize yourself. Both sides should make this human and personal, but it's on you to do your part. And you've just been asked to. This might be the only question where you can discuss what makes you you, what makes you happy, what you live for. Here's how to nail it. First, and the good news is that you get to talk about yourself. I'd recommend scripting out exactly what to say. Basically create an elevator pitch, a pre-written paragraph or two that you're ready to say and remember. Once you have your answer about yourself planned out, practice saying it out loud to make sure it's not cringy. There's a reason that you should write this down beforehand. I know you know yourself and you know what you're into, but this typically goes the wrong direction when you're having to say this off the top of your head and as I'm about to lay out the format of what to say, you'll realize that it's very strategic. Once you have the scripted out, practice saying it in the mirror and try and memorize it. It's something that will come in handy throughout your entire life. So here's an example. I'm going to read through this. I'm going to say a couple things. And then in about a minute or two, I'm going to read through the entire thing again nonstop and tell you why each sentence, each thing you say is there for a reason and that the reason it's there is to help you stand out and continue your conversation with the company. Here's a format you can use that I have prepared for you. And I created this so that when you're asked a question, you can sneakily do a couple things at once. This might be your most strategic interview response. It's going to stick. It's going to help you stand out and sneakily nail a couple priorities that the company has. The first thing is to confirm that you're exactly who the recruiter thinks you are, especially if this is a first interview. They need to make sure that who they're calling, especially on the phone or video chat, is who they think they're calling because they dial wrong numbers. I've had this happen. Numbers change. Different people get numbers, all of that. They talk to a lot of people and sometimes numbers change and resumes are out of date. So at the very start of your answer, confirm your name and location. If your resume says Daniel from Virginia, quickly align who you are with who they think you are and then confirm that all that stuff matches up. So here's an example for you to format this question. They'd say, tell me about yourself. And you'd say, 
My name is Joe Schmo. I live here in Virginia and I've made it my home in my spare time. I enjoy. And then you're going to put something active and healthy in your answer. In my spare time, I enjoy going on walks through my neighborhood, riding my bike and swimming. And then because, and then you're going to give your because. This is important. Tell the recruiter the reason you enjoy doing something, the reason you do something. I enjoy hiking because of the fresh air, the vitamin D, and the sunshine. It's a great way to get my heart rate going and stay in shape. I also spend time volunteering with such and such organization, which has taught me about such and such. So you would say, I spend time volunteering with Big Brothers Big Sisters, which has taught me the need for students to have a positive influence in their lives. To recap this first part, you engage in healthy hobbies because they have benefits. You volunteer or help others, and it has taught you something important. The next part of your answer is your professional side. I've been an accountant for 10 years, and I love organizing. The structure and making sense of numbers to help companies avoid mistakes, improve efficiency, and find new ways to increase profitability. I'm really happy to be here today and to have a chance to learn more about your company and how that intersects with my occupation and skills. Every part of this answer has an underlying reason for being there. I'm not just giving you an answer. That's not what I do here on the job interview experience, and that's not why you're here. I'm giving you the best answer. First, you're saying you're an active hobby. You get out and exercise. That's good. Active people are healthier. They're happier. They lower the company's insurance premiums. Second, you're mentioning volunteering. You don't just work. You give back. That's the kind of person that I want to work with. How about you? Next, you're showing that this isn't just any job. You take your work and skills seriously and take pride in doing them well. That's just part of who you are. I'm going to read through this again because I jumped around a lot in my answer and kind of plugged in different ideas. So here's the full format. You can rewind and listen back through this, but obviously plug in your answers. You plug in what you do, your hobbies, all that. Here's the format. My name is Joe Schmo. I live here in Virginia and I've made it my home. In my spare time, I enjoy going on walks around my neighborhood, riding my bike, swimming, because of fresh air, the vitamin D, and the sunshine. It's a great way to get my heart rate going and to stay in shape. I also spend time volunteering with Big Brothers Big Sisters, which has taught me about the need that I've seen for students to have a positive influence in their life. I've been an accountant for 10 years, and I love organizing the structure and making sense of numbers and how to help companies avoid mistakes, improve efficiency, and find new ways to increase profitability. I'm really happy to be here today and to have a chance to learn about your company, how that intersects with my occupation and skills, and what I can do to help your company move forward. That's a good answer. Please modify this, make it your own answer. You do want to touch on a couple points though. Say who you are and where you're from, Talk about an active hobby because you're healthy, you're a great employee. Mention volunteer work that you do or some way that you give back. It can just be visiting grandma or whatever it is. And then jump into the industry that you work in. And you say, I want to work in your industry and help your company. That's where I'm meant to be. Or I want to get into your industry because I love that you build these homes or I love the way that you manuf manufacture this new product that helps people or software, whatever it is. I know this is changing lives and my skills can help be a part of that. If you're not doing any volunteer work, I'd highly encourage you to do so. Look up local nonprofits in your area, join a committee or volunteer your time, get your feet on the ground and give back. It helps those in need and it will also build your resume. You will be a better professional and you will be a better person because of it. The tell me about yourself question is here to stay. Don't ramble, don't talk about your favorite TV shows. Don't try and impress with your wild weekend activities. Stick to the script and you'll have a steady, confident answer that represents you, that you can be proud of, and that will come out loud and clear to the recruiter that you are the person they're looking for to align with their company culture and fill this job. If this has been helpful, please make sure to click subscribe so you know right when these episodes come out. And please leave a review on Apple or Spotify. It means the world to me, and I'm really, really grateful. Thanks for joining the job interview experience. I'll be back soon.